Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this nice bronzy look. So if you wanna see how I created this look, keep watching. So I'm gonna kinda of switch it up a little bit and I'm going to do my skin first before my eyes. And I know a lot of you are gonna be like, what the fuck? But I mean, I feel like it helps a lot of beginners and people who don't really do their own makeup often. Um, it helps them out doing their makeup because doing your eyes first can look a little crazy at first. So this, I think the way I'm doing it today is going to help a lot of you guys um, that are beginners and doing your own makeup for your quarantine wedding or whatever the case may be. So before we get into this video, I do want to tell you guys that there is no right or wrong way in doing your own makeup. It's just all about what makes you feel good and what is comfortable to you. So these are just my, this is just the way that I would do bridal makeup. It's totally different from the other videos. Um, so. You know, just keep that in mind. I'm going to start with the Hue to Beauty Primer. This is the Complexion Perfection Pre Makeup Base. So, um, in Louisiana, um, it's very, very humid. So, for my brides, I like to use kind of like a heavy duty primer that really sticks, you know, the foundation on there and keeps it long lasting. Oh, and for a lot of people that don't know, I am a makeup artist here in New Orleans. So, you know, just throwing that out there, I'm just kind of giving you examples or a how to and how I do my own brides. So, you have like a professional's opinion here. So, for foundation, you never really want to try something new on your wedding day because you never know what reaction you might try. That's why it's always important to do trial runs with your makeup artist. And, or just um, if you don't even want to do that, you can always you know, bring your own foundation the day of. I don't recommend getting a facial the day before your wedding. I don't recommend doing it the morning of or whatever the case may be. Do it a week or two before because you never know your skin, what it might break out to. What I do recommend is like facials, like hide the facials or like, um, what is it? When they kind of shave your face or whatever. Anything that doesn't really um, penetrate the skin. So that's kind of like, if you do want to pamper yourself, those are the two, uh, I think it's called microdermal that I use, I don't know if it's going to break this, but I use the um, Forever Undercover 24 hour full coverage from Dior and the, I don't know how to say this word, the Healthy Glow Foundation from Chanel. So I am color Caramel in Chanel in 45. So this one's obviously a little darker, but I always go at least a half shade or a shade darker on my brides because it gives like a more like youthful appearance to their skin. So um, I'm just mixing these two on my hand. Just kind of dotting this all over, making sure everything is going to be even. This also helps. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this Juvia's Place in the color Camera, and I don't put it directly on my skin, I kind of take a little like foundation brush and I kind of stipple it on because it's easier to blend that way. I have some knowledge on you guys on the two types of brides, brides that they are. So they either have a blushing bride or there's a bronzy bride. So today I'm going to be doing a bronzy bride because this is kind of like mainly what I do on my clients. So um, the two types of brides is that a bronzy bride, pretty much everything is kind of golden and more sultry looking. And then the blushing bride, I'm using more cool tones and more blush. So that's pretty much the difference. So for my under eyes, I'm going to use the, what is this, Fit Me Concealer, this is the Comfort Concealer and I am in 25.
the Kudu Beauty Banana Bread. I'm using this for my under eyes. This is one of my favorites. Oh my god, I love, like for my skin tone, I feel like this setting powder is a dream. Now if you're a little deeper than me, you like a bright under eye, this would work for you too. It, it has like a, it has like, remember when like banana powder used to be like, the it thing or whatever? It's kind of, it has like the same kind of formula I feel like, but it's lighter and it's more bright. So I'm just going to sit my under eyes. Now, again guys, a lot of times, this is why practicing makeup is so important. A lot of times it even doesn't work for everybody. So, you know, if, if this works for you, then great. If it doesn't, you know, put some fresh powder under your eyes. But I like a good day in my eyes. And nine times out of ten, I most likely will be doing my own makeup for my wedding. Because I'm such a control freak. And, I, and I, for me, like, I know makeup gets a lot of anxiety, but I mean, when I do my own makeup and I have time and the music is playing and everything's on, I feel good. So as long as like I kind of do my own thing, I think I'm fine. Like I don't think the day of I'll be like having like, well, one, I'm not having bridesmaids. I don't know if me doing weddings for so long just made me like Ugh, about bridesmaids, but I feel like, you know, it's just sometimes they can be a headache. but this is more of like a peachy blush so it kind of goes with the theme that we're doing right now and this is the MAC Like Me Love Me blush so I'm just going to take that big brush that we just used oh and I'm using the Hula Benefit Bronzer to uh, contour my nose But if y'all know anything, just let me know. Let me know. Um, I love to try new products. I'm just gonna slim my nose out. I love to contour my nose. And I'm pushing it in my eyebrow. big brush and I'm just going to bronze my face up a little bit more before we jump into the eyes and a little I'm just going to go to town with this a little over the contour that we did earlier so the, the important reason why I use cream contour instead of powder I just feel like it shows up better in photos that's just me you can use it powder or whatever you like. We're just here. I'm just here to help. Here to guide you in the right direction. So for eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Soft Brow, Soft Brown <laughs> Brow Definer from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I, no, I freaking hate my brows. They're always causing me so much like to be. So if you feel like me, this is kind of like what I do. So, gonna kind of fill in these gaps. I just wish I never touched them, you know, growing up. I wish I would have left them alone. Because if I had it my way, I wouldn't really do my brows. I love that undone, kind of just brow gel look. But I can't do that. I gotta fill these things. I'm just kind of feeling, feeling in the towel. And I'm just working my way up. It's just such a hassle doing this. I'm really thinking about getting a microblader.
so this is the brows. This is what I got. Um, come on, I'm so funny. Like, this is what I got. But um, they're different every day. But I use this. I feel like it's quicker than the brow is. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I know every, but I feel like I go through the brow. Like when I was buying brow wizards, y'all, they were. I was in and out with those. Like it was. It was a problem. So um, I, I got the brow defined because it's a little thicker and it's easier and quicker to do my brows. So I'm not gonna like. So for brides, I just feel like sometimes, especially like when you don't really have a lot of brows, it can kind of look a little boxy when you like when you frame them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone. I've been liking that for me lately, so I'm just gonna do it like that. When I'm not go and dot a little bit of concealer on my eyes and this is just gonna prime for my eyeshadow if you want to go buy if you want to go out and buy uh, eyeshadow primer go ahead but if you want to utilize it's probably already in your makeup kit just use um, a little bit of concealer and you'll be fine so I'm just gonna put it even on my eyes a little bit so for eyes, I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. It's really, really pretty. Let me show you guys how it looks. It has all these like pretty bronze colors, and it has like the shimmers in there that we might use. I'm not sure, but I really love these bronze colors. So um, a very, very popular uh, palette. This is actually my second one. So the first color that I'm starting off with is Beach. And I'm just going to put this... in my crease and then I'm taking the Morphe M532 brush so next we're going to go into Sundown and Ridge. I'm going to blend these two colors together and then I'm just going to focus this on the outer V part. So I'm going to take suntan and start really carving out my eye. So I'm going to focus this color right in here, right in this V. I'm really going to start carving myself. Right, this is the M506 from Morphe. It really can get in there and do some detail work and it's kind of like loudish. So I'm really focusing this color in this area, I'm really creating some depth. And I'm going to use a little bit of this color just in the middle, in the front. I'm 
smoke out my underneath eye, so I'm trying to get a full effect. So I'm going to take another M506 brush, and I'm going to go in with Beach and Ridge, and I'm going to go underneath. So back up to the top of my eyes, I'm going to take the darkest color, um, it's called Deep Dive, it's a really really dark brown, and I'm just going to kind of get close to my lash line to kind of create like a fake uh, wing liner. I like it smudgy like that. I think it looks really great. So I put a little bit of True Bronze on my finger and I'm just going to tap it just right in the center. Just like that. You can, this is like the most I would do. Super simple. Very, very, but still like timeless. And if you want your eyes to look even bigger, you can go in with white. I actually like this color because it's not like too, too much. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of mascara. And I'm using the Telescopic from L'Oreal. I love this one because I have tiny lashes. And this kind of just makes them bigger. And it's really good for bottom eyelashes. Okay, so while my lashes are drying, because I put like a, a shit ton of lash glue on them, I'm going to do my lips. So this is Cork Lip Liner from MAC, and I'm just going to kind of go in and overline. So into like the brownie nudes or like the pinky nudes. So for lipstick, we can go in with, I have a new lipstick that I've been obsessing over. It's the Yes Honey from Charlotte Tilbury. And I feel like it's like the perfect brownie kind of nude. And it's so perfect. I feel like I don't need to put on a lip gloss on top of it because her her lip uh, sticks are more like kind of glossy anyways but they last so it's a good it's a good she has a good formula done with the face the last step is highlighter so we're just gonna go in with something not too much it's called soft and gentle from MAC it's kind of like everybody knows about this color I'm just gonna go in a little bit just when love comes in the and as you can see I didn't want to go in with a gold highlighter because we have so much bronzy goldness going on already I just felt like it would have been too much so that's why, I mean you could, but I just felt like it was a lot going on. Setting spray, we're going to go in with the um, Patrick Star One Size Go Off Makeup Dissolving Mist. So. Right, so 
so I know that was a long video, but I felt like it was a lot of information. I'll thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.